what's up? This is Luke with harmonica.com. And in this video, I just wanted to show you a next level way to practice a scale. Before we get into the actual exercise, I just want to show you some real world examples of how you can use this melodic material to make actually really cool solos when you're improvising. That kind of gives you an idea of how this material can become actual melodic building blocks in a solo that you make up on the spot. That's why this is an exercise worth pursuing. All right, now let's go ahead and get into practicing these exercises. Before we get into the new skipping notes one, I'm going to do the groups of three notes through the major scale, because in the last video we were doing it in the almost blue scale. So let's see what that feels like now in the major scale. I'm going to sing the intervals here, not the harmonica tabs, but the intervals are one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, one. And then coming back down, one, seven, six, seven, six, five, six, five, four, five, four, three, four, three, two, three, two, one. And now coming back down. If that was too fast for you, remember you can put the video in half speed. So you can go back and do that as many times as you need to until you can play it. Once you can play it, then we'll eliminate that pause on the third note and we'll play it faster like this. And coming back down. Okay, awesome. If you got that, congratulations, because again, this is next level stuff. So the purpose of this video really is to show you the next level after that, which is that once you can do one, two, three, the next thing we want to do is skip that middle note, in this case, two. So we'll go one, we'll skip two and go to three. Now we're going to go to our second one, which before was two, three, four. This time we're going to skip the middle one of those, which is three. So we'll just go two, four. So going through this whole thing, it's one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six, and so on and so forth. Now, this is really challenging stuff. And a lot of times when people first learn to do exercises like this, it shows us, oh, I, didn't, I don't actually know the major scale as well as I thought I knew it. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. And coming back down. If 
you got that, then the next thing, of course, is we'll go ahead and try and double time it. And coming back down. Anytime you're working on an exercise like this, it pays to go slow. The faster you want to grow, the more you have to go slow. Take as much time as you need at each level and practice it very slowly. And if you can, with some kind of rhythmic accountability, like a metronome or a jam track or something like that. But sometimes when you're just working it out and, and trying to get the picture of what it looks like in your head. Sometimes it's nice to practice it without any rhythmic accountability. But eventually, once you begin to get your mind wrapped around all of this, then the rhythmic accountability like a metronome or jam track is really helpful to identifying spots that are giving you trouble. And then if you identify a spot that's giving you trouble, slow down and just focus on that. Turn the, turn the jam track or the metronome off and just focus on those little transitions like typically between holes and six and seven is challenging because we go from the six blow to the seven draw and then from the six draw to the seven blow, whereas the other ones are all same blow, same draw. So hole six and seven is typically an area that requires a lot more time and attention to be able to master. Of course, you can continue this up all the way to hole 10 or all the way down to hole one but that's more advanced and I just wanted to give you the basic idea. You can take this and run with this concept, different scales, different patterns, but these are great concepts for taking your musicianship to the next level. Again, my name's Luke with harmonica.com. I hope that this lesson was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on playing the harmonica and making the world a better place. A key to success when you're working on this stuff is go slow. I always say, what do I always say? <laughs> what do I always say? I don't always say it because I just, I just came up with this phrase. Uh, what is it? The faster you want to grow, the more you have to go slow.